Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are we doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, we have a question on uh, when we get down the field, and we're going to talk about a right-handed fielder. Okay, so if you're a lefty, just switch up everything I'm saying. But as a righty, which again, most infielders are, except for first baseman, uh, when I get a ground ball, which foot is supposed to go in front? So should I be left foot slightly in front of right? Should I be even? Should I be left foot behind? And so we're gonna talk about that today. The first thing is, on a, on a routine ball, right, where the ball is hit and I'm able to read the hops, I'm able to get to the right of the ball, I'm able to use my momentum and get through the ball towards my target, towards first base, 99% of the time, I'm going to be left foot slightly in front of right. So I'm gonna to get to the right of the ball, I'm gonna approach the ball, I'm gonna put my right foot into the ground, and then when I spread my left foot, when I spread this foot, I'm going to be slightly in front of my right. All right, because I am I can read the ball, I can get around the ball, and I wanna get going this way. So I want my left foot slightly in front of my right so that when I feel the ball and start to funnel it, I can take my right to my left and my left to my target and I'm going that way, right? And so it wouldn't make sense on a routine ball to come here, put my right foot in, and then put my left foot behind my right foot because now when I feel this ball, I've gotta go that way, right? And we always talk about right to left, left to target. So. Even if I want to do that, you can see how it kind of, once I put this left foot back here, my momentum starts to stop, right? It's natural for me to just go right and then bring my left foot towards the target. And that's going to go in front of my right foot, right? So it's right, left foot spreads and slightly in front of my right. How far in front of my right? I mean, if I bring my feet together, they're probably... I don't know, a half a foot, half a foot length, right? Sometimes maybe a little bit more, but it should be in front of my right. Okay, now, with all that being said, there are gonna be certain balls that you have to field that your left foot isn't gonna be in front of your right, okay? So, for instance, if I have to create some distance between me and the ball, so maybe I need to drop step, or maybe I'm approaching the ball, and as I put my right foot in the ground, I go, oh man, if I go like this, I'm going to get an in-between hop. So maybe I go here and I go, oh, that ball's bouncing there, I can't keep going, I've gotta back up, right? And so I might feel the ball with my left foot behind. Now this isn't gonna happen a lot, and this isn't ideal but not every ball are you gonna be able to field, ideally. Most of them you will, right? Again, regular ground balls where I've got time to get around it, but sometimes, especially at third base, if I'm playing third base, balls hit, oh, and I might have to do that, right? Balls hit hard, it's a one hopper, I don't have time to get around it, right? Third base is a real reactionary position. I've just gotta move and catch the ball. A lot of times it's just one step and a catch. And so I might be here, balls hit, oh, I back up, and now I'm in this position where I went right, left, field the ball here, right? My left foot's behind my right, but that's not routine. Routine, I can get around it. So I've always got to keep my feet ready to, oh, I got to back up. I take it here, now I field it, and I get going that way, right? Now again, that happens a little bit more at third base. Usually at shortstop, there's not going to be a whole lot of balls that are just rocketed at you that you're going to have to do that. It will happen once in a while, but typically at shortstop, you're further away, you're going to move around more, you're going to be able to come get the ball, you're going to be able to read the hops and get around it, and that's when you're going to go right, left field, and your left foot's going to be in front of your right. Um, another play again, usually we talked about it already, kind of like the drop step, but there'll be balls where you've got to go one-handed, right? So I come this way, my right foot's going to be behind, or excuse me, my left foot's going to be behind my right foot, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Again, it all depends on the, on the bounce of the ball. Your job is always to pick out a good hop, which is a long hop or a short hop. You want to stay away from the in-between hop can't always do that, but you want to try as much as you can. And so I'm always working my feet to do that. 
again, 99% of the time, if it's a routine ground ball, I'm gonna be able to read the hops, come up, right, left, left foot in front, be able to throw it. But if I can't, I might have to open up, I might have to back up, I might have to slow down, oh, put my foot like this, now it's behind, not ideal, but again, I feel it, and then I get going as much as I can towards my target. My momentum won't be as great, I won't cut down the distance as much as if I have my left foot in front, but not every ball is gonna be fielded perfectly, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff, uh, and we'll talk to you later.